morning at the table. What's up bro, 9.13 in the morning. George came in at the perfect time because there is a new hot chick on the day. MOTS, 225 to $5 a share. It is a low float stock. It is a very, very dangerous stock to short. When there's a company that me and Bao could buy together, you don't want to short it. So this one I'm just going to have on radar. I'm going to let it do its thing, let it keep going up, and hopefully there's going to be some easier setups out there. So out for the viewers, what does that low short mean? Low float? No, low float, sorry. So float is the amount of shares that are available to be traded in the market. So if there's a small amount of shares, the stocks tend to move a lot crazier. So for example, Apple has, let's say, a billion shares in the float. It only moves a little bit. This stock has 2 million shares in the float. It's going to move a lot. Right. When it moves a lot, it might be too dangerous. So if it's too dangerous to short, I'm not going to touch it. So I'm looking for other easier setups. So let's see. Also, I'm looking at above VWAP. It's not really. Above Dude, too high. two to five. It's still going. It's still going. It's still oh, going. Man. I just started trading myself, so uh, I just had a pretty bad day. <laughs> George has P, uh, PTSD from ATXI. ATXI the other really day. Bad time. The other day went from five to eleven. George lost a lot of money paper trading. I was pretty, <laughs> I was pretty stuck in there, bro. <laughs> I was holding the bag like Joe Kelly says, holding yeah. the damn bag. I was really pissed off. Yep. Not, not trading any more hot chicks. It's over. Let's see. I want the good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, now that this is one minute to open, and now that I've been trading, and to see that first initial five minutes of the open, what are you like? What are your tactics? Because like I feel like if you're not in in that first five minutes, you're missing out. But then you don't want to rush it either and get get in something that you you get you get screwed up in. So trading the first five minutes is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult because it has the most whips on. It goes the highest and lowest the most in the first couple minutes because that's when all the robots turn on. That's when all everything gets crazy. So as a beginner trader, as a new trader, what you should do is you should whip wait during those five minutes for the trend to form. And then once that trend forms, it'll be easier for you to see. You know what I'm saying? So as a new trader, I think you should wait the first five minutes. But for me, as a more experienced trader, I'm okay sticking to my lines and putting my orders and waiting because that's kind of what works for me. So new traders, just take it slow. And this MOTS is gonna move really fast because the low flow stock is crazy stuff. These stocks are gonna move extremely slow. They're gonna move extremely slow because no one is paying attention to it. What I gotta do, bro, is I gotta do a better job of buying those stocks. You know, the stocks that I tell people to avoid. Right. Because oftentimes those are really good buys. So I guess if you're avoiding on the short side, then you know it has to go, it has to go one way. Yeah. Exactly. So I just gotta do a better job at that. Now, the last couple of days, it's been pretty slow as far as like the stocks in the initial five minutes not giving like that you know, that pop that you're looking for. Yeah. It's really like, they're really just like going straight down to begin. Cause the entire market is going straight down. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause the entire market is really, really weak. Everything's really weak. You know? Right. And everything's slow. It's really slow right now, dude. So I'm just slowly shorting this BIF, man. Like it's already a broken stock. Just right. pretty much waiting for it to bounce, you know? Maybe I'm gonna make a hundred bucks, maybe not. But you see how it is, bro. Yesterday we we're like, we're in, we're at a war, bro, yesterday. Right. We're like fighting these stocks, and today it's just picking the right stocks and just taking a little bit slower, because the opportunity's not really there today. And actually, I was looking, because I was drawing my lines before, and I, I really, um, I actually like a chart like TOPS or like BIAF. If it bounces, yeah. Yeah, exactly, because it has that, that leverage there. It's already broken, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? The stock is already broken. Because the stock is already broken, it's in our favor. You know, you Some, see it, bro. My screens aren't moving. Yeah, yeah, Usually yeah. It's going I know, crazy. I know. It's not yeah, there's like days that. where it's just going nuts, and days it's just, it's just like this. But say ATXI right now. Yeah, like pop, that's something like a little pop. Would you would you do something there? I would need a bigger pop, bro. Right. I would need maybe like 750, 750 or like eight bucks. My arch nemesis ATXI. Yeah, that's the one George got a little bit <laughs> screwed on. I got some bad yesterday, but yeah, you did good. Was it enough? No, MOTS is still going down. I really still think they're gonna trap it. What are we in so far? We got some BIAF short. There's a low hanging fruit over here. You know, as you can see, bro, the chart just went straight down. So we're just trying to piggyback that trend down. Probably gonna be a slower moving stock. Uh oh, oh man, this is this is how I got trapped last time. ATXI, you see? ATXI is running, bro. That's where I wanted. Remember what I said? Yeah. Yeah. BIAF, BIAF looking to die right here. I missed my entry, dude. I tried to short at 764. I couldn't get the locate fast enough. Oh, man. oh my god, dude. Look, I tried to short. I couldn't get it fast enough. Wow. 
Let's put an order in this way. Now maybe this is for another video, but I wanna I wanna get I wanna give you a process on getting these locates. Okay. Cause that's something as a new trader I don't even know anything about. Yeah, I'll show you. But dude, that was if I got that entry, bro, that was the trade of the day. Yeah. I literally said it five seconds ago, 758 and it just hit that. Yeah, and that's a quick one minute trade, it looks like. Okay, so now we're back to waiting. MOTS is still going down, which is very odd. Yeah, I got some ATXI short, 729. Okay. Tried to get some at 760, but I couldn't get the locate fast enough, which sucks. Ideally, this bounces a little bit more, and I get to short a little bit more. It's like, all right, no, no. I hate this stock. <laughs> I'm trying to get some more ATXI because it looks weak. Okay, I got some. I'm slowly scaling into this ATXI short. Uh, looks like it topped out here. I'm just trying to short this bounce. See if I get it. The volume is low, the lowest it's been in a couple it's days. It's definitely low, but yeah. this death candle is kind of giving me some confidence. EIF isn't really doing anything either. Playing games, but... Come on, break seven. Come on, break seven. I'll add here. Oh, it broke seven. Okay. Now let's try to exit some of my position. Where should we get the lowest 693? Let's do some 695s if we can. So right now I'm waiting at 695 to exit some. So basically the stock topped out, short of the bounce. Right. That's it. And we're just trying to exit on this dip. Moving way slower than, I mean, yesterday it was, it was moving, wasn't it? Right now I'm setting my orders on ATXI in case it just dumps. Like if it, if it goes down? If it just shoots straight <clears throat> down and like tries to run back up. Right. Well, as a new trader, one thing I also haven't really dabbled into, which I want to start doing, is like a stop order where like, you know, where that ATXI happened to me two days ago. I could have got out for definitely a lot less of a loss than I took, so. Yeah. Would you stop order as far as like this candle right here? Or like, would you I'll go? I'll probably stop out above 750. Oh, well, this is 760, so probably 760. Because if that breaks over 760, it'll just go directly to 780, you know? Right. And again, bro, today's not a day where like you're supposed to make like a lot of money. Today's a day where you're just supposed to like pretty much stay alive and wait like for like a better setup to show up, you know? Right. See if we can get lower on the rest. And that's how you know, man. That's how you know these these lines work. It hit the line and went right back up and it covered you. Yep. Got out of more. I'm all out. Well, there we go. And that's it. Oh no, I slapped 200 shares. Trying to get out of the 200 shares. Out. It's about $816. It's not bad. Not bad. It's a great time. 36, about seven minutes maybe. It's not bad for a slow day. Mm. Let's keep going. We still got BIAF. Yep. But this was a textbook MIC setup. Stock tops out, we short the bounce. Make money. BIF looks like it's about to break this line at 284. This is going lower. Wow, I suck. God damn. What happened? This is going lower. Could have made more money. Oh, yeah. Gotta be happy with what you got, guys. It's moving extreme, extreme, extremely slow. Extremely. So I think I'm just gonna try to get out. I mean, compared to yesterday, it's pretty dramatic. This is about a scratch trade, bro. This is nothing. This is like a $70 trade. Pays for, I don't know. Some gas. Some gas. Low risk. You take what you can get on a day like this, bro. Yeah, there's nothing really happening today, bro. There's I'm actually happy really, I'm not trading today. I'll yeah, probably lose There's really money. nothing happening today. Today's a day where, like, when it's a slow market day, people just, like, force trades. They trade stuff that they shouldn't be trading. They start trading random stocks, random setups, and they start losing money. On a day like today, bro, the best is just don't even trade. But if you are looking to trade, take it slow. So we're trying to just lock in our money, bro. 283, making a couple cents a share, nothing crazy, slow day, almost out. And right now, bro, right now, it's about like a $900 day. So if you can make 900 bucks on a slow, slow day, day right. on a slow day, that's it. Done. Right there, bro. $926.83. And it's 17 minutes. Yeah, it can't be that. So that's pretty much it, dude. I don't I don't really want to trade anything else. I don't really see anything else. And now it's at the end of the day. I mean, every business has their slow months. Every business has, you know, their their time where you just need to, you know, do a little more house cleaning or, or, or just take take care of yourself, you know? And you gotta also remind yourself, Bow does his best. Let me show you. 
So if I make $1,000 a day, that's $250,000 a year. So just because $1,000 seems like a low amount of money, it's really not, bro. It's still a quarter yeah. million dollars working 17 minutes a day, bro. Yeah. Imagine making a quarter million dollars working 17 minutes a day. And, and it's been it's been pretty stress free for you, that thousand you just got. I mean, that's... I mean, you've seen it, bro. I'm yeah. Nothing crazy. Easy thousand dollars there. So Alex, we were just talking about, um, you know, getting a balance on some of these stocks. As a new trader, um, yeah, you just said tops went up uh, about what eight, eight cents. You know, only yeah. went up like eight cents. It's not really much. So you're saying that's not even worth like a little scalp, just to like. Uh, even you, need, you, you, know. you need stocks to go crazy. So if tops goes up eight cents, it's gonna go down two cents. Tops goes up fifty cents, it's probably gonna go down twenty cents. Mm -hmm. So the more it goes up, the more it has a possibility of going down. If that's an easy way to get trapped, bro. If you start trading this shit when it's not really moving, you're just gonna trap yourself. Right, so better not make a trade than, than try and get the couple cents. Yep, and look at ATX. There it is. There it is. That's it, bro. Is that a death candle right there? That's, I mean, that's a murder candle. That's, yeah. that's destroyed. <laughs> that is what it is. So, I mean, that's it, guys. I mean, you guys saw, you know, 17 minutes making almost $1,000, and you know, the day is over now. So, uh, let us know what you want to see from us in terms of content, in terms of questions. Um, if you guys are liking these videos, you know, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, maybe even give us a comment about you know what your favorite part is. Aside from that, I'm done for the day, bro. Yeah. I'm done. New setup, murder candle. That's it. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff too with some of this money and some 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 cool things. <laughs>